show that if a random variable x has a probability generating function g of t, then the random variable minus x has a probability generating function g of 1 over t. So g of x of t is equal to e of t to the x. So the probability generating function of minus x will be g of minus, minus x of t is e of t to the minus x which will be e to the t to the minus 1 of x, which will be g of x t to the minus 1, by definition, using this definition here. So that will become g of x 1 over t, which is what we were asked to show. Find an expression for the probability generating function of x1 minus x2, where x1 and y x2 are two independent observations of x. Let y be equal to x1 minus x2. g of y of t is equal to e of t of y. So g of y of t is e of t of y, so that's going to be e of x1 minus x2. Sorry, e of t to the x1 minus x2 which is going to be e to the t to the x1 times e t to the minus x2, which is e to the t, t to the x1 times e to the t to the minus x2, using expectation algebra. That becomes g of x of t times g of x of 1 over t. If x is geometric one sixth, find the probability that the second observation is one more than the first observation of x. Let x1 be the first observation and x2 be the second observation. We require the probability of x2 being equal to x1 plus 1, which if we rearrange, although we probably might not think about rearranging it this way, will become the probability of x1 minus x2 is equal to minus 1 to link with uh, part B up here. So that we want, we want the probability that Y is equal to minus 1. Now if X is geometric P, then G of T will be 1 plus Q P T plus Q squared P T squared plus Q cubed P T cubed, etc. Which will be taking out P will be P times 1 plus Q T plus Q squared T squared plus Q cubed T cubed. This is a geometric regression with this bit here, u1 r being equal to qt and the sum being u1 over 1 minus r. So this will become p using the sum of to infinity of 1 minus minus 1 over 1 minus qt, which will be p over 1 minus qt, which is the probability generating function for a geometric distribution. And if it's g of x is 1 over t, then it's just going to be p over 1 minus 1 to q over t. So g of y of t will be the product of those, g of x of t times g of x of 1 over t, which will be p over 1 minus qt times p over 1 minus qt. These are both infinite gps. First one we could write out like this. And the second one, so it's p squared, that coming out, 1 over this will be this geometric progression, and then 1 over this will be this geometric progression. Right, we want the extracting the term in 1 over x, because we want uh, x to be uh, minus 1. So p squared times 1 over qt, so 1 times this one will give uh, a t to the minus 1, and then qt times this one will give q squared over t squared, and then q squared t squared over this one will also give that, and the pattern will continue. So that, considering just the coefficients, that's all interesting because if we want the probability, it's going to be p squared q plus q cubed, q times q squared, plus q to the 5, and the pattern will continue, q to the 7, q to the 9, etc. This is also a geometric uh, progression, using the sum to infinity of u1 over 1 minus r again. This will become p squared 
the first term, which is q, over 1 minus the common ratio, which is q squared. So this will become p squared q over 1 minus p squared. So if p is 1 sixth and q is 5 sixths, p probability that y is equal to minus 1 will be 1 over 6 squared, 5 6 over 1 minus 5 6 squared. Perhaps we should explain why we extracted 1 over t, because we want t to the b, uh, y to be minus 1. This would be the case where y is equal to minus 1. And remember, it's a coefficient that gives the probability in a probability generating function. Working that out, we're going to get 5 over 216 over 11 over 36, which is 5 6 times 1 11th, which is 5 over 66. Find the expectation of the difference between the first observation of x and the second observation of x. So we were required to find the absolute value, e of the absolute value of x1 minus x2, as the difference is both x1 minus x2 or x2 minus x1, depending on which one is largest. Just clip my English there. depending which one is largest. So e of the absolute value of x1 minus x2 will be 2 times e of x1 minus x2. As it happens, it won't matter about that t will not have, that 2 will not have no effect on the final outcome. So that would be 2 times e of y, which will be 2 times, now to find the expectation using probability generating function, we need to find g dash y of 1. So it's going to be 2 times dt, d, d, dt of p over 1 minus qt, p over 1 minus q over t, for p being 1 sixth and q being 5 sixths and t being equal to 1. So p squared can come out because it's just a constant, and then if I multiply this one by t, top and bottom, then I'm going to get t minus q here and then pt at the top here. So I'm going to take, just have p left when I take, sorry, t left when I've taken the p out. Right, before we differentiate, if we expand the bottom, we get t minus q minus q t squared plus q squared t. Now, using the quotient rule, we're going to get 2p squared of v. I'm just going to write the bracket version. 1 minus qt, t minus q times the differential of t, which is 1, plus t times the differential of this, which is going to be 1 minus 2qt plus q squared, all over, I'm just going to put it back as brackets now, 1 minus qt, t minus q, t squared, p equal to 1 sixth, q equal to 5 six, t equal to 1. That's going to be 2p squared, now if I put t as 1 in, I'm going to get 1 minus q times 1 minus q, and here I'm going to get minus 1 minus 2q plus 2 squared, and on the bottom I'm going to get 1 minus q to the power of 4, 1 minus q here, 1 minus q here. p still being 1 sixth, q being 5 six. So that becomes 2p squared of 1 minus 2q plus q squared. Now taking the bracket in, we get minus 1 plus 2q minus q squared, and 1 minus q is the same as p, so it's p to the 4. This p and this squared will cancel out, so we get... Okay, and that, funny enough, the 1 will cancel with this one, the minus 2q will cancel with this one, Q squared will cancel this one, so we're going to end up with 2 um, times 0 over P squared. P is 1 sixth, Q is 5 six. It doesn't really matter what they are. The answer is going to be equal to 0. And you can see that the 2 had no effect.